Alright, so... This isn't my first time playing the game. I've played it before. I mean, if you've seen my achievements, which you haven't. But, um... I'm just gonna go back through it, starting with chapter 1. If you can't tell, if you look at my YouTube profile at all, you'll see that I definitely like the game. So, I thought I'd get back on my account and so it's a video, so. Here we go. See, look, I have all the notes. So I'm working on the Lore Master achievement. I'll put a little thing showing what that is on Steam, but... Yeah. Let's start. If you guys haven't played Flashlight Mode or Lantern Mode, it's so much harder, which... I'm, I'll do it in another video if anybody wants me to, but not today, because I do not feel like putting myself to do that. And if my voice sounds weird, I'm a little... Whatever. Have you forgot forgotten already? This forest has my of stone. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key for start button is a good place to start. Such so gives you a map, general general layout and if, if you guys want me to give me a guide on where to get notes or achievements for chapter one I would be glad to do so because I've already gone all them alright so oh. that guy's just gonna be terrorizing us the whole time it sucks but you know you gotta get used to them because that's that's the whole game so Sucks to suck. If my audio is a little weird, I'm just I'm using a headphone mic, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a little strange. So bear with me. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was diff it was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark since when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. The headlights I saw an old shut off to the right off the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but that the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the of the right that may seem harsh to the to the lay person. Also, if you hear vacuuming in the bath background uh you don't just ignore it oh you saw a guy in the window he's hiding oh get out i don't know if you noticed when we did that we got a save one thing that's really hard not hard exactly but annoying about the game you can't manually save some you saw it, the, some saves was happening at important parts or in, in like chapter three there's statues but that that can definitely make it a little harder Oh, funny. Yeah, sometimes he'll just chase around the deer. It's funny. And there it is. The Martin's house. Let's head inside. The music from this game is also just great. It's, yeah, I wish they had something on Spotify. Mr. and Miss Martin greet, greeted us at the front porch. Miss, Miss Martin led us down the stairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt, I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. So we're dealing with possession. We're just going to go through the house quickly. Oh, oh, exercise it. Note. So there's the Martins. Amy in the middle. Usually if stuff is colored in the game, that means it's uh, you can exercise it and get a note. If, that, if that's the correct term. Oh, someone's in the window. Hi, buddy. Oh. God. Go away. Some stuff... Some You kind of stuff test everything. Like th this. You can kind of tell this is a no. So, here. Yeah. So, we have a nice, nice little drawing. Definitely not creepy at all. Uh, we'll head upstairs later since we'll need to be there. Now we're in the basement, the creepy basement. It's not. This is where the exorcism was, according to the note. Oh, there's a note here. Yep. Some some of them are really hard to tell. 
Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The, the area we are working has a lot of folks who practice... I'm, I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San Le Muerte, or Saint Death. That's ominous. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I've prayed to San Le Muerte. He told us, ab he told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house. And according to him, they prayed to some... Fear, Farius of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. He told, we told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in a four, see you in four months, Layden. So sounds like a relative, grandparent, maybe uncle, aunt. I don't know. It's gotta check. I can't. I can't stop myself from checking. No. Nope. Okay. Some things just throw you up, like that plant upstairs. It it couldn't really be anything, like a rubber ducky. Okay. Well, I think we, I think we found where the exorcism is. Let's read this. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceeding of the rite for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the th thing that was inside of Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically wor worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Father, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Seems like we're going to see her real soon, so that's fun. Oh, yep. Okay. Come on. Here she comes. I'm gonna stay quiet for this. Yikes. She is here. Another note, yes. We love the Lord. I guess I was the only one who thought to check the attic. When I got there it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me like I was like, like me when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon during our conversation. She uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began to write again. There should be a note up here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Bob must be... Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Emmy about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self conscious about working at the clinic. So oh, so Amy isn't a child. Not a, okay. I don't know why I thought that, but no. Oh, okay, here she is. So there's three of her, but usually the one that blinks first, then like the most amount of times is the actual one. And from what I've seen, you have to, you have to do this like five times at least. Yeah. So the best thing to do is uh, get these three rooms upstairs, then two uh, downstairs so you can quickly, um, so you can quickly get down to the basement. Because we don't, we don't want to do something careless and just die right away. That is not fun, because then we have to do this whole process. Oh, that's nice. Okay, here. I will gladly. That should mean we only have one more encounter, then we can head back upstairs. Alright, I get, I get, maybe that might be one more since it got glitched on the, on the... Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So it is five, but you just have to go to five different rooms exactly. But yeah, so this is the attic where John, our main character, saw her for the well, technically second time after Father Allred was dead slash unconscious in the uh in the basement. 
Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they send the papers about what happened isn't true. She, she, my superior, she, my superior father, with when I confront her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. Some stuff is blanked out. It's strange. I bet it's part of it. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her, but I don't know. I, if I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. So this was, I'm not sure how this got here, but this must have been before we came here. And Molly, I'm not sure. Maybe. I, I know, I know. Whatever. That's, that's all. That's not good. That's bad. Oh, here she is. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Mm -hmm. She died, priest. So that kind of just confirms what I was thinking. Coming back for what you started. Ugh. Come on, just get this face out of the way. So I think including this, there are four phases, technically. These guys are annoying, but you can just... You get a lot of damage before they even come. It So that makes it a lot easier. And when she gets down to really low health, yeah, another guy comes. So that's how you can tell you're almost... Yeah, see, look at that. And every time one of these plays, you get, um... You get a checkpoint, so you get to save, which is very nice. So basically, we just have to do a repeat of what we did earlier, except we have to actually move out the way. Which can be hard, since there's a second where you're still holding up the crucifix. We, we got it. You guys know I got it. I have to lock it. <laughs> so it's, it's really not that hard, because I've played this a few times now. So I know what I'm doing mostly. I can still get tricked now. Caught up in this be a little hard, but nothing too difficult. And it's not really like smooth animations, there's only a few actual frames to move, which makes it, it makes it difficult and a little frustrating, but if you just play it right, you can get to this phase. So there's a crucifix now. Um, she'll go to each corner starting with this one, and there's a, there's a ring of those symbols, and you just have to stay out of it. Usually I stand right here in this corner so I can actually just uh so I can just get ready. Because sorry. So I can yeah, so I can, oh yeah, see that that's what happens. Some it, it can be it can be a little finicky because if if you're too close so, but sometimes it's weird, you can stand right on the line. And it just doesn't do anything. But if you wait a second you can Stand back a little, and then just use the crucifix. Yeah, like from right here works perfectly fine, and you can stand it as long as she isn't back there. And then for this, for me, sometimes she'll stand there twice, but I think that's only when she's at lower. Yeah, no, she's going back now. She sends out one of these guys, and as long as you aren't in their path, you're fine. You're chilling. Ugh. Yeah, you can get back there pretty easily. She only she only ever does it for that corner, for whatever reason. But if you just stick it to that, she won't come back up here for a second. So you gotta be careful if you're actually going my way, though, because she can just jump back up there. Which can be dangerous because you got this far you don't you don't want to go all the way back no not at all i'm sure you don't and look at that boom just like that guys and then she she goes to the middle and then you'll you'll see you'll see right out the window and we get a save now for this i will be doing the secret boss fight which i'll show you just right downhill here sorry jeez um here we go So now there, it says kill her, but for but we'll do another ending just for fun. Yeah. Done with one bullet. So instead of walking out into the forest and killing her like it says to, 
are actually going to walk up to this mirror. And this is this is one of the secret fights in the game. So you see it cracks. We have to walk back and forth. Uh, we have to shoot it three times. So that's one. And he has to repeat that every time, which is kind of annoying. Because I get it, a gun with a gun with my wallet. But doing too much, man. But, you know, it's worth it. But not really. You, you do get a note for this. So I will be reading that. So I'm just trying to get some of the lore in for you guys, so you can understand it better. This should be the final one. Or I'm crazy. Uh, and I just... We... Yep, there we go. Alright. Get ready. It is pretty easy to fight. So it just teleports away after a certain amount of hits. Or it's, it might just be a certain amount, a certain amount of time. Just don't get too hot of it because if it gets too close, it doesn't have a large like If you just keep doing what I do, it'll be pretty simple. And again, if you guys want me to make more videos about all the secrets and stuff in the chapters, I could definitely do that. And but you know, I already have this one, so October 23rd, 1986. Dear Dr. McLashen, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinell's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened, the result was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but the ra rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her do her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to report that since accepting, accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased, and I no now enjoy the peace of mind that I've not felt since the incident, G given my progress since the first coming here. I respect I, I respect fully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute con contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. So that is a note uh, which happens after the canon in Chapter 1, which we'll not be doing. And again, I I can't I will tell you that ending now. Oh, I'm I won't do it though. But in I can show that in a video with all endings, all secrets, all notes and stuff. If you want me to do that, I will. Yeah, but these are all pretty simple endings. All of them you don't actually need to um go out and really do anything. It's only what you what you decide to do at the end here. So I'm not, I'm not, I haven't done this ending, oh yep, it's right here, so, you go up to this squirrel, shoot it, and then, yeah, the music cuts out, makes it, it makes it so much creepier when you're out here with no music. Then when you head back to the car, and then start driving away, you will get a secret instead of getting chased by the police in the cannon ending. So, I will be showing you that right now. Let's get back in the car, yep. Here we go. So usually you get chased by the police, but we will get something not a lot worse. So just watch. Yeah, that's not something you want to see. But yep, that's ending three out of five. So there are quite a few endings that you can get. But, uh, yeah, I'd say that concludes this first chapter. And again, if you want to see all secrets, all endings, all achievements, all notes and such, let me know, or I'll just do it on my own accord. But hope you enjoyed this not-so-good video, and thank you. Bye.